Hi everyone, my name is Christian Peñalosa and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a dream that I had on November 2nd, 2023. So this dream, I saw it like in different scenes. The first scene was people living underground but in tunnels. It looked wide, like a lot of people were living there so it didn't look like small narrow tunnels, they were big tunnels. They were wide, kind of like the length of streets. Like they were pretty wide and there was a whole a whole like society living underneath there. So I could see all kinds of ages from children to teenagers, young adults to grown-ups. I saw this couple there, a man and a woman. I believe they were married. They were a couple and they stood out as leaders in a pack of people. What I saw from this couple was that they were talking to the people about like necessities that they had so they needed supplies right and they were talking to the people about the supplies that they needed i don't know if they were like working together and like making a list or but they were planning something because they needed some basic needs basic supplies right i could see young adults just like skating underneath there you know they were living their life like if nothing like it was normal like that was their normality it wasn't super lit up it, it wasn't it was a little bit dim at least maybe that's how i saw it but other than that like people were just used to living there the second scene was where i saw a young lady in her apartment and she was in the restroom it was a very it seemed like a very intimate scene she was in the restroom somehow at the same time in her kitchen it was weird but it was like being in the restroom and then looking up and looking at the tv and then somehow it was the kitchen where like you have a tv in your kitchen and she was just listening to the news and i could see her kind of i think she was wearing a coat but like i i knew this girl had an important job i knew she had a a career and it was in the medical field she was listening to the news and the news uh, was talking about a current event, so something that was happening at the moment. And this girl looked like she was having a realization, like a light bulb moment. And she kind of instinctively knew that she was needed and that she had to do something about the current situation. And she was starting to realize I need to help the people like I need to do something it was as if she was having like a like a wake-up call about the situation like how real the situation was and she was thinking about how she can help these people in that moment somehow I knew that there was a division and there was people living underground in the tunnels and then there was people living normal above level ground in the world but these people that were living above ground were people that had uh, a position or people that had a big title, people that had careers where they were important, like important jobs in society, people that had influence, you know, like doctors, because this girl, I believe she was in the medical field and I think she was a veterinarian actually. And I think that she was thinking like, what can I do with the knowledge that I have? Like, how can I help other people? So that's what I saw. Then in another scene, I saw another couple above ground. These people were above ground. I saw another couple enjoying themselves and then they came across this lady and I saw them like looking at papers and they were going to sign, the, 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 the woman was going to sign because supposedly they had won something or they were being offered something. But I knew it was a scam. Like watching this, I knew it was a scam. And then this woman kind of was cautious before signing. Um, and she was kind of questioning herself like, hmm, I don't know, like I'm excited and I want to believe it. But at the same time, there's something that doesn't feel right. And as she was about to sign, all of a sudden I saw they were in a, they were in a room with other people and there was a, a table in the middle of the room and she got distracted from signing and she saw that there was people with their hands up one hand up and somebody was telling them 
to do something and the person was telling them to swear to put their hand up and swear by a name i don't remember the name but they said the name and so people had their hand up but it was their left hand up i remember it wasn't their right hand it was their left hand and they some of them were saying it like oh i swear by whatever name they had said so this woman raises her right hand up instinctively because she sees other people doing it but as she was listening to them she said what like what did they say like who are they swearing whose name are they swearing by because why do they have their left hand up that's when she started thinking and she was like well normally we put our right hand up and we swear by god but that's not what they're doing so she put her hand down she didn't go through with it and she saw other people a few other people that were also concerned and they were also looking at each other like what like what is going on like why why are they making us do that like that's not right then she didn't even sign anything she knew it was a scam she felt it and then then i next thing i see is this woman is sitting down with her partner on the table on that big table in the middle of the room with other people i'm assuming these other people were the people that didn't agree or like they didn't feel like that was right to to do that and all the other people were like standing up around the table just watching them so this important man in a suit comes walking into the room with a bunch of other people behind him following him so i could tell this person is important and it seemed political like he has some high position so this man comes into the room and he stands on his little podium and he starts to say that there's going to be a change in the system i'm not sure what system i'm not sure if it's like financial economic political i have no idea i just know he said there's going to be a change in the system as he was saying this he was saying that in order for you to know what that system is you had to go through with swearing like you had to put your left hand up and you had to swear by the name that they gave you so that you can be part you can know the new system and be part of the new system this lady and this man and the people and sitting in the table were all staring at each other like they were not okay with this like they didn't want to they they did not agree with what was happening and what they were saying but right away i could feel their fear i could feel that they knew that they were in trouble and even the man next to the woman was already like looking around to see how he could come up with a plan to try to escape it like escape that room but unfortunately i felt while watching that scene i felt like their lives were in danger where they would be killed if they did not swear by this name that they were giving and if they were not okay with the change of the new system so that didn't feel like it had a good ending but i honestly don't know what happened because i didn't get to see if they were actually shot or if maybe they, those were the people that were sent under to the tunnels i really don't know i don't want to add to that but i just know that it didn't feel like it had a good ending for them and so the last scene that i saw goes back to above ground level again so what i saw was i came out of that apartment of that lady that was watching the news a veterinarian i remember coming out of that apartment of the veterinarian going out the window and then seeing outside in the streets and i saw people wearing this device on their arm this device gave a number a, like a gave a reading and so i was trying to see what it was i was trying to see what what they were wearing what the device was what what it was for what it, what it was reading like what was it telling what information was it giving i was very curious about that everybody in the street that was in the street was wearing it those were the scenes that i saw and as i was coming out of my dream i started to hear a voice and what it said was carbon dioxide and it said it three times carbon dioxide carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and i thought carbon dioxide that is so random and that is so weird like i would never think of that word i i i science has never been like a <laughs> science was never a strong subject for me in school 
I'm not a smarty pants like that. For me, carbon dioxide, I was just like, what does that mean? Like, how is that relevant to my dream? So I woke up, my husband was getting ready for work. He saw me that I had woken up and I was just there staring and into space and thinking like, did I hear that right? I heard it three times loud and clear. And my husband looks at me and he's like, what is it, babe? He's like, what is it? And I said, I, I just had a weird dream. But the, the weird part was that as I was waking up, I heard carbon dioxide, but I heard it three times loud and clear. I said, and I don't know why, I don't know how that's relevant to my dream. I don't even know anything about carbon dioxide. <laughs> so um, yeah, that started a whole conversation with my husband and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna share this dream because I have no idea what it means to be 100% honest. But as I was laying there just, because I always take some time. When I wake up after I had this very specific dream with specific details, I'm gonna write it down so i try my best to just like remember what i saw every try to remember every detail try not to forget so i can write it down but also god will remind me of other things other visions other dreams that he'll like connect the dots so i remembered a vision that i had seen months ago i'm talking months ago and in this vision it was quick it was short and what i saw was outdoors and i saw like these ladies surrounding this big hole. It was like a big tunnel coming out of the the ground, but like a, like the ground levels like this, and it was a big hole, and then this tunnel coming out. And out of this big circle thing, this big tunnel, I don't know what to call it, I could see fumes coming out. I could see fumes coming into out into the sky. It kind of looked like steam from far away. And they were all surrounding it and they were all looking at it and looking at the steam coming out. And then they were looking up to the sky and in the sky, I think I saw a helicopter, like a, an air uh, object, like a helicopter or airplane or something like that. And that was it. That was, that was the vision. And I thought that was so random. I was like, there's no story behind it. Like I just saw what I saw. But when I was remembering this dream, that vision came to mind. I, like I was reminded of that. I had forgotten about that, but you know, God, um, that's what he does. He reminds us, the Holy Spirit reminds us of certain things, you know, he helps us. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's related to this somehow. I don't know how, but that is related to this somehow. So I'm going to make a note of that. And then I thought, well, I did see fumes coming out. I did see, and I'm like, maybe somehow that's related to carbon dioxide. I have no idea guys. So I'm going to, I'm, I have been actually researching carbon dioxide i've been googling i've been looking for videos i mean i i do my research along with praying as well for god to help me but guys like i said in my other video i don't have to understand every single thing that god shows me in my dreams because he is all-knowing and i am not and i depend on him and god shares details and things with me as he pleases it's a, on a need to know basis like i said last time and certain things he helps me understand right away and other things maybe he wants me to look into maybe he wants me to to do some research maybe you know it's again it's a relationship and there's things that i'm meant to know now and then there's things that i'm not meant to know now like it is not the time so i don't stress about that i just do what the holy spirit leads me to do uh, like I said in the other video, everything I share, I share by faith. I share my journey with the Holy Spirit, with God. I share the way he communicates with me. I share bits and pieces of our relationship. And, and one of the ways of communication is through dreams since I was little. So that's what I love to share with you all. God speaks to his children because they have his Holy Spirit. He'll speak to his children in different ways. Only he knows you, only he knows how you like to understand him, how, what you would understand. He's going to speak to you in a way that you understand. That's between you and him. But I am only sharing. That's all I'm doing. I don't have like a message. I don't have anything to say other than I'm just sharing the dream. I'm just sharing what I saw. It was about a change in the system. It was about separation and division between the people there was people underground, there was people above ground, 
and then there was lots of need of help and supply of for supplies and then there was carbon dioxide then there was this device and this issue on carbon dioxide uh, i think this device would read either the carbon dioxide in the air or in their body i'm not sure i really don't know it was a very interesting dream so i just thought to share with you guys so that's it guys thank you so much for watching this video for hearing my dream go ahead and leave a comment if you've had any dreams related to anything that i shared right now that would be that would be cool to hear from you all if god speaks to you in dreams and you felt like sharing but you don't because you're afraid of being criticized or judged or judged i'm going to encourage you to pray on it write down your dreams write down the dates the times when when you can and share pray before you share i always pray before and after and god knows your heart it's between you and him and he tells you to share whatever he shares with you um Everything we do is by faith. Uh, Romans 12, 6 says that the Holy Spirit gives us gifts. God gives us different gifts. And if one of the gifts that he's giving you is to prophesy, he says to do, to do so according to your faith. So I tell him, Lord, my faith is in you. And everything that I share is for your honor and glory. And that's it. I, I Everything that I do is for you. Because my message to the people is that God is alive. God is real and god speaks okay so i love you guys thank you for supporting my channel supporting my social media supporting the message that i share to the people of god thank you and i love you and god bless you bye